Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ricky. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I picked up for Christmas. This is basically my Christmas wish list. Everything that I wanted. This is a no budget haul. But before we get started, I wanna show you guys really quickly what I'm burning today. Today I am burning iced cranberry scone. I've been so happy with this candle. I'm so glad that it smells exactly how it is on cold. You just get that really sweet tartness of the cranberry and that bakery note. Very gourmand, very sugary, um, bakery. It definitely has a really great throw. You smell it in different parts of my house. So I love that it has a beautiful throw on it. I rate this candle a 10 out of 10. I did not trim the wax just because I want a high flame. Depending on the candle, sometimes I don't like trimming the wicks only because I find that they perform much better. You get a stronger throw and you get more of the scents that are incorporated in the candle. That's why it's kind of getting a little messy in the wax because I didn't trim it. You know, it's good to clean your wigs as well. You don't have to necessarily cut them, but um, I just went ahead and lit it. It doesn't really bother me that it looks kind of messy as long as it smells great. That's all I really care about. And I'm so glad that I backed this candle up. Now let's get started with this video. All right, you guys, let's get started. I think I'm gonna start off with the smallest bag in here. So I have been craving into the night. I love the fine fragrance mist on this and I love this scent period, but I wanted the body cream in it. So the fragrance notes on this is raspberry noir, amber crystals, Velvety, rose petals, creamy, patchouli, and mocha musk. It's just very, like a grown-up scent to me. And I have been fiending for like scents that are more darker and more, I guess, sexy in a way. So I had to go and store and pick up Into the Night. I've been wanting this really bad so I got it and then I picked up a thousand wishes and the antibacterial hand spray I've been obsessed with this scent so I had to get it in the hand spray all right let's go on with the next bag here so I have been wanting this for so long. Um, this is Stone in the Big Cologne. This is Stone Blends Alpine Water, Cool Lavender, and Sandalwood. You guys know how much I've been obsessed with this scent. I've been buying the body spray, the body creams. So I was like, I deserve the Big Cologne. So I got it been wanting it for a really long time and I know that's not gonna go on sale anytime soon so I was like I need this in my life and I also picked up Noir another favorite of mine Noir blends black cardamom smoky vanilla and a hint of musk so I had to get Noir so I am very 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 happy that I got myself some of my favorite scents. Let's move on with 
the online purchase. And I already went ahead and opened this so you do not see me struggling, even though it's kind of funny watching me struggle opening these boxes. So we're gonna start off with Almond Blossom. Here we have Sweet Almond Oil, Vanilla Orchid, and Cashmere Musk. This just smells very sweet and it gives me like a fuzzy feeling. I've been wanting an almond scented spray for a long time. It's something that I don't have in my collection. So I wanted to get Almond Blossom because it's different than what I already have. It smells very, just very sweet, nutty. It gives me like a comforting type of feel as well. Like a late night or like an afternoon type of scent, like a dusk type of scent. If dusk had a scent, like it would be this. It smells so good and it's not floral. Orchid doesn't have a scent to me. I've had orchids before and I don't know why they would add an orchid, but it is vanilla. You smell the vanilla in there. And it is slightly musky. And that sweet almond oil is just throughout the scent, makes, making it smell really, really nice. So I got almond oil. Next up, I picked up Sea Island Shore. I love this packaging. Fragrance notes are clean cotton, orange blossom, blue freesia, freesia ocean musk our exclusive sea island shore fragrance is inspired by clean linen flowing in fresh ocean air yeah it just smells like um it gives me like a magnolia charm type of vibe to it it smells very um like laundry detergent kind of like febreze ocean if you guys have ever smelled that um definitely doing laundry by the shore like by the ocean this is like a coastal type of scent you do get that strong cotton smell to it um you don't really get the orange blossom maybe just slightly um, but you mostly get cotton and the muskiness of that ocean scent. Yeah, it's definitely different and something that I do not have in my collection. This is also an online exclusive. This was, this is currently an online exclusive as well. Um, even though it's been out previously without being an online exclusive. But I love Sea Island Shore. I thought it was gonna smell more musky, like oceany, um, but it smells very like salty, laundry, musk. So glad I got that. I'm happy about that. I had a backup pink velvet cupcake. This is like top three, top five of my like all-time favorite scents that Bath & Body Works has. This is Sparkling Red Berries, Whipped Pink Marshmallow, and Sugared Praline. Yeah, it's very berry, very marshmallowy, sweet, and you get the slightest of the praline in there. I kind of already played with the scents, so I did spray them in the caps. Yeah, it just smells so good. If you guys have ever smelled the lotion in pink velvet cupcake, 
I mean the body cream, it smells identical. I really, really love this scent a lot. Like it's very, I don't know, it's just so good. It literally smells like a pink velvet cupcake. Very cupcakey, sweet and marshmallowy and just perfect. And then I also picked up A Thousand Wishes in the Diamond Shimmer Mist. I had to back this one up. Infused with real diamond dust. So we love that moment. I don't know. I've just been liking, I guess, glitter. I don't put a whole bunch, but you know, a little glisten when you're feeling a little bougie or whatever. And I love the muskiness of A Thousand Wishes. So I had to pick her up. And then the last product that I have in here is a little pocket back holder in rose gold kind of goes with a thousand wishes so i am living for that all right on to the last bag you guys i had to pick up a thousand wishes i have been wanting this candle for a really long time i did not get to see it for candle day these got put out the second day of candle day and i did not participate on the second day so i missed out on a thousand wishes and i just love the packaging Oh, it smells so good, you guys. This is sparkling champagne, crystal peonies or peonies, and almond cream or creme. Very perfumey, but not aggressive nor ugly. I had to back it up as well. It just, it just smells like this smells like if Champagne Toast had like an older sister. This is Champagne Toast's older sister. Like she has a job. She knows what she wants in life. She acts a little crazy. But she has her ish together. Yeah, this is Champagne Toast's older sister. She doesn't care what people say about her. She just keeps it pushing. And she's just that girl. So I had to get a thousand wishes. Next candle that I picked up is Peach Bellini. Oh my God, you guys, I how to bring this one home. I think this is my first time ever smelling peach bellini. I've always just kind of like, eh, like I've seen it before, but I never really took the chance to like sniff it or anything. So this is succulent white peach, sparkling prosecco and sweet orange. This just smells like such a good time. It smells like, it smells like a drink. Like I just want to drink out of it. it. Smells like juice, like a drink, almost like a fuzzy drink. This smells like a jarrito, like an orange jarrito. That's what it reminds me of. Like literally, that's what it reminds me of. Like that or like a piece of like orange candy. I love this scent. I really hope that um, it smells. I really hope it throws how it smells. So I had to pick up Peach Bellini in the new packaging. 
And on to our last product for this haul. I've been seeing this all over Reddit, you guys. So I had to get my hands on it. This is banana bun cake. Here we have sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. Uh, it just smells so good, you guys. Literally, I don't know how they do it. It smells like walnut banana cake. Like, it's amazing how they do this. I should have got two of these. Look how cool the packaging is as well. Like, I am obsessed. And, you know, Bath doesn't really come out with a lot of banana scents. And I love walnuts. And bananas. It's just perfect. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. But yeah, I've been seeing this all over Reddit. If you guys do have a Reddit, be sure to follow me on there. My username is r1ckyyb. And I'm always posting on there. I love that Bath and Body Works community. It is life. Yeah, this candle is just everything. Like... If we get another candle so I'm gonna definitely get some backups of that because that is just chef's kiss. This is it for this haul, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so so you guys get updated when I upload. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I got in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.